<laughs> oh, was I feel like I've overdressed. I feel like I dressed like a sad clown. <laughs> I'd just like to say this isn't like a stage outfit, this is what I wear quite a lot of the time. Um, the other half of the time I dress in a more kind of, uh, when I'm trying to attract men, so I dress a bit more butch and they, they seem to like it. <laughs> so I open my mouth and it's ruined. <laughs> hey! <laughs> no checkered shirt can cover that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say so that hasn't happened this entire time. Only one of those was, 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 was washed their hands. That's disgusting. Thank you for washing your hands. Yeah, I love it. Round of applause, please. I actually uh, couldn't wash my hands, but I also couldn't go to the loo in what I'm wearing. Um, you can help me in that. What's, you can help me in that. I'm quite open. <laughs> If I, I have IBS, so if that gets worse, um, <laughs> I'll be ripping this off. And, uh, so we go to the car in my little vest. <laughs> Am I wearing underwear? <laughs> um, you think about that. <laughs> Sound like a punishment, but so. Uh... <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I was thinking today about what I was going to talk to you guys about, and I went for a little walk, um, and I found myself in these woods that were. Uh, so I, I got a boyfriend in lockdown. Um, you know, to be fair, you shouldn't have done that. Um, you did tell me four months later. Um, <laughs> we are not together. <laughs> uh, so we went for a little wander around in the woods that we used to go to. But I had to add the lockdown thing because otherwise it sounds like I go and have sex in the woods. Um, I'm not opposed to, but I prefer a cow. A cow? <laughs> that was really car and catch, so we need to work on that. Um, <laughs> um, car or a couch or a bed if I should be so bold um, <laughs> often I'm not uh, so yeah uh, he dumped me um, and I was uh, trying to think of like fun ways to talk about that <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine um, <laughs> I want you guys to sad clown I'm fine <laughs> um, he's actually been weird so uh, I had a boyfriend before him and uh, we were together for a much longer time but I'm kind of over that now I mean it's like I think of him and I send him love and light um, <laughs> I don't like me, I hope he's miserable until he's dead. But, um, <laughs> it doesn't weigh me down in the same way as this guy who we've been together four months, best sex of my life, it uh, kills me. Um, <laughs> why won't he love me? Uh, <laughs> I feel like I've seen a ghost or something, I haven't, it's just, um, just a haunted, hauntingly beautiful look. Um, <laughs> not don't look over, no me. <laughs> <laughs> I was giving face. <laughs> I should go face this way a bit more. It feels very slick. But this other one gets me, and this other one's not so keen. Um, I, uh, I was going to do some interaction, but I'm not that good. Um, this, this guy, so I keep trying to think of creative ways to like see each other. So like uh, around Christmas time, I'd finished reading a very clever academic book. Um, you're right to not be surprised, they're really clever. Uh, it was about um, gay people in Africa uh, who exist uh, across the continent. <laughs> <laughs> it feels either homophobic or maybe only a racist or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am very racist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's okay. Um, so uh, I read that book and I, I gave it to him and I was like, I think you'll find this really interesting. Um, come back to me. Um, <laughs> and then at Christmas I got him um, some chocolate and it was uh, it was like Reese's Pieces. And I don't like Reese's Pieces, I don't like nuts. That's, my father doesn't know, but you guys should know. <laughs> I just forgot. So I knew that this guy liked them, so I, I was like, oh, let me drop them off to your house and maybe you can fall in love with me again. And um, that didn't work out either. But um, <laughs> I was thinking of inviting him uh, to a comedy show at some point, um, which I thought would be a good idea. Um, but on that one, I'll probably wear like a checkered shirt. <laughs> and I'll be a different person. <laughs> I'm fine. I've been to a lot of Taylor Swift, but I don't find uh, any Taylor Swift fans. Woo! Uh, this is always one of us, at least. So, uh, this now. Uh, yeah, so uh, I find obviously she writes um, directly to my soul, uh, <laughs> which is good. Uh, but some of the stuff, uh, you know, you just have to do a bit of a kind of mental backlips to make a song kind of fit your situation. Um, so she's got one, We Are Never Getting Back Together. I would, so that doesn't really apply to me. <laughs> <laughs> she's got another one called I Bet You Think About Me. It's all about like how, you know, he broke up with her, but I think he regrets it. 
So again, not applicable. She <laughs> <laughs> got one that's really sad, and it's like a ten minute. You know the one all too well. It's like ten minutes long, poetry, and it's so beautiful. And I just have to skip over the section where she says, "You call me up," um, because he's also not doing that. <laughs> How is he just so okay? <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> this feels so real to me. So I'm trying to get over it. I'm trying to do stuff to get over it. So I've been like on a dating and stuff, obviously. Um, <laughs> uh, like, no, I have like I've been, I'm on Grinder, obviously. I'm also on one called Growler, which is a bit. Um, Yonic sounding. Weird, isn't it, Regala? Um So, uh, but the trouble is, is that the only people who seem to want to talk to me is like maybe men who are in mid fifties and they want to connect on Facebook. And um, <laughs> and they me, my boyfriend. So um, that's difficult. And also, actually, I did have sex with a guy who was younger. So I'm, I'm getting older. Um, he was, uh, well, let's say, like early twenties. So like ten years difference. It wasn't. And weird for me. I'm used to getting with like. Daddies not being the daddy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so like now I don't really consider myself much of a, a, a daddy. I consider myself more of a like a my mummy loves you. <laughs> 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 but I, uh, I did go to a gay sauna, so I'm trying to fulfil a fantasy. I want to be spit roasted. I'm like passionate about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dream. <laughs> like the other Martin, I also have a dream. <laughs> 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 So I go into the sauna and um, it was uh, it was sexy um, and uh, I suppose if you're not familiar with gay sauna, it's a bit like a straight sauna, but I don't know in a straight sauna who would finger you. Um, <laughs> actually, it's because I didn't know who fingered me there either. Um, was, I, didn't, I don't know the etiquette for a gay sauna. I don't really know what happens. So I uh, I was doing some jobs um, <laughs> and I did a really good job and a guy finished. <laughs> um, and uh, and then um, and then I didn't know what to do. I didn't have to break the tension. I'm, I'm obviously really good at making jokes, so I want to break the tension, obviously. Um, <laughs> uh, so I just went. Anyone else? <laughs> <laughs> so they all left the sauna. So uh, you guys have been wonderful. Thank you. So